your teeth. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Badass. Welcome back to a new episode of Licks and Tricks. I'm your host, Ethan Makowick. Today I have Tom Ch- Chorba. Chorba. Chorby. Chorba. Chorba. I'm going to call you Chorby for short. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, it means soup. Does it really? Yeah, there's a Wikipedia pipe. In what? There's a Wikipedia article on uh, on on Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> and it Chorba oh, means that soup. Soup. In, in, in like a language? Slovak or something? In a language, yeah. Some, <laughs> some, some other language. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But it's good to know for the people. Yeah, yeah. And then like in very small letters at the bottom, it says like also like Tom... As in, there you are. As in, Tom. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, yeah. The, it redirects you to the unwritten, unwritten. Uh, there you are page. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just a just a blank page. But Tom, so good to have you on. It's good to Tom be of here. There you are. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. It's, to good, have. <laughs> it's good to be here. I'm really excited. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm pumped to have you, dude. El Dorado. That's the it. newest album from There You Are. Yeah. Full of bangers, full of hit, hot licks. Thank you. Cool tricks. And some cool tricks. Cool tricks, and we're hopefully going to delve into a couple of them. So we were just playing a little, little doomy kind of thing to ring in the the new episode. Yeah. Um, so what's kind of like, so we're in C-Standard right now. Mm-hmm. What kind of made you want to go to C-Standard? Uh, it's thicker sounding, like mm-hmm. meatier. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I just change it up a little bit. We've all, we always do stuff in, like, E-flat standard. Yeah, yeah. And, uh... I don't know. I think a lot of, like, when we write songs, it's always, like, Matt and I just jamming on it, and, like, I like the thicker-sounding stuff because, you know, it's just the two of us. Mm-hmm. So. so it helps fill out the sounds? Like yeah, yeah, for? it just makes it meatier and heavier, so I just yeah, kind of yeah. was like, oh, let's go Steve Standard and uh, do what we normally do, but it'll sound it'll thicker. Just, yeah, it'll just sound better. <laughs> sound better. But that's awesome. So, like, There You Are is, like, as core a two-piece. Mm-hmm. You and Bean you and doing Bean. your thing. And uh, so... How does the songwriting process go? Like, like let's take a riff like uh, my fave, Bronco, something like that. Or like <laughs> other fave. Um, I'm just asking Evan what the name of it is because I always forget. Think you'd, I, think you'd Rather Die uh. has some, like, just like four riffs after another sick riffage. So, like, what kind of, like, what does the thought process go for something like that? Is there, like, certain, <laughs> like, ideas behind riffs that like, you always kind of gravitate towards? Uh, Any, like, tempos, grooves? I don't really know. I think we were at my family cabin we, we go up there to like try to write or record stuff and mm-hmm. um i don't i think we were like like overthinking stuff at the time and one time he had to get run home to like work or something and i was just up there by myself and i was just like all right we're gonna simplify everything put it in c and see what happens yeah and then he came back up and we were just like jammed on it i don't know it was just kind of trying to go more simple in a weird way but also keep it like pentatonic rock kind of thing yeah yeah I don't know. Well, it sounds super sick. One thing I noticed is, like, that song again. What is the name? I keep forgetting. Think You'd Rather Die. Think You'd Rather Die. I always want to say, like, I'd rather die or, like, I want you to die. I don't know why. Uh, Whatever. (laughs) Think You'd Rather Die. It's a cool thing where it's, like, the opening riff and, like, the bridge riff are, like, super, like, like heavy, almost, like, thrashy kind of thing. Then, like, the chorus is almost, like, pop rock, I almost want to call it. So, like, what are, like, the, like, what's the first riff in that song? Like, the opening run. Riff because it's like almost dancey. Yeah, yeah. It's got like it's like all in the upbeat kind of. Yeah. It's like, Try like, yeah. Do you think about that when you write? Do you do like I kind of like want to keep this like, uh, like head bopping almost. Yeah, I think for these like for the El Dorado stuff, I think it was kind of like, I wouldn't say I was thinking about making dance music, but mm-hmm. like I was thinking something just straightforward where you, you know, bob your head. Yeah, yeah. Like this. <laughs> like that. That's how you're supposed to do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I've been. Mean, I don't know how. Like, I don't know where, it, I, like, came from as far as like, I wasn't like consciously like, oh, I'm gonna write like that sounding mm-hmm. song. It just kind of like came together. So like the know. riff come before like the drum beat or something too. Like this, 
Do you um, think about like the because it's only like two of you when you're writing? So like, do you think about like the drums with I, it? I think I think about the drums more than I think about the guitar. Okay. Like yeah, I yeah. feel like if there's a cool like beat, I'm just like, all right, well then I'll keep something going guitar. I don't know what works over this beat. Yeah, mm, yeah. Okay. I feel like that. I don't know. I think yeah. I, I think about the drums a lot whenever we're making stuff, which is really important because drums are so important to a good rock song. Yeah, I yeah. feel like it's drums and vocals, and then everything's secondary. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, what, and what's like the chords for the chorus too? Because when I listen to that song, I'm like uh, just, trying to figure out why I'm feeling so good. Just D. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Just like blast it. Just, just D A and E. Well, whatever they are, but like the yeah, yeah. forms of D A and E. That's so funny because it's like, like country blues chords almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like when it's in C, it sounds so heavy. Right, right. That's uh, that's one of the reasons I've like I really like the C thing. And, yeah. and it, I feel like it has like that like childlike childlike attitude to it. Like na 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 na. Yeah. Nah, like that. I, I also like how you put the like the like that country like. Yeah. Yeah. Kind yeah. of thing in there. Uh, yeah. I just I don't know. It makes a lot of sense when you when you don't think about it. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. A, it just works out whenever I'm not thinking. I never yeah. had to think about it. <laughs> yeah, because I was listening to it, I was like, how does he make it sound like happy? It's kind of like Nate's album, Honey, where it's like, this is like happy, but I know it's gross. Yeah, kind yeah. Of. Yeah, there's a lot of like heavy stuff going on, but it's still got like a happy sound to it. Yeah, it's interesting. Mm. Nate Cross, by the way, for people wondering. Nate the Cross, Nate huh? Cross. The Nate Cross. But, uh, the Nate Cross. <laughs> What's like the the riff in the bridge too? Because that bridge riff is so sick. Oh, it's just like the there you are standard. Oh yeah. <laughs> The one thing about C is everything, it goes out of tune, like, all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I, like, always do the Thin Lizzy thing where yeah. harmony harmonize the guitars. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, where, where was it? Where is it? Yeah, so. that's so sick. I just like the. I like. I always think those harmony guitar harmonies are cool. Sometimes yeah, yeah. you know they make it sound real, real heavy. Yeah, it sounds really thick when you <laughs> listen to it. I just love that, that riff too. I love like the the end of like the. Yeah. I think I'm playing it wrong. Oh, wait, what is it? Okay? That's cool. That's like where I I like it because it's like I wouldn't put the accent there, but I like it better. Like I would always play like. Like oh, I would do yeah, it there yeah. for some reason, but like you feel it like yeah. the note before. I probably couldn't do it that way. Yeah, it's so like, uh, that's why yeah. I was like, fucking, I was like, what's he doing? That's so cool. Cool. It gives it a little jumpy feel. When yeah, you do that. yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like a little funky too. Yeah, it got oh. a little so funky. sick. <laughs> <laughs> that's so dope. Um, let's talk. What? Just curious because you're in C. What strings are you using? Are you using tens or you do elevens? Uh, I think they're like 13 to 62 or oh, something. Oh, you do big boys. Yeah, they feel like an acoustic yeah, right yeah. now. I, I think I have a pair if you want to see them. Oh, I don't really care that okay. much. Okay. I was it, just it, no, They're like, they're <laughs> Diodarias and It's uh, not show and tell. You that, know. Well, you know, <laughs> I mean, you know. But uh, it, I think, I don't know, they, they're they Diodarias and they say like optimal for like drop tuning. Oh, okay. And so you get like the drop tuning strings. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because if I, if like using regular slinky strings or something, it's just like, it sounds like a sitar or something like mm -hmm. a Middle Eastern, like wee, wee, wee. like yeah, it's yeah. real loose and like you could do like a, you know, yeah, you know, that's you know that, that sound right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. this guy, um, this guy. <laughs> but uh, 
So I'm, what I'm getting here is the riffs, keep it rocking, keep it like disgusting. Yeah. Go kind of poppy, like just don't think about too hard for like the chorus kind of. Is that what I'm thinking about? Yeah. Am I getting that right? Yeah, I feel like that. Like, I also good. think like Bronco kind of does the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Can we talk about that riff? Because that, like, that yeah. was like your first single. Shout, go listen to this El Dorado, please. It's like amazing. It's pretty All the good. way through. <laughs> <laughs> we got a humble guy. It's great. Just <laughs> take take a stream, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I uh, saw so, like show the people the riff on that. Song. It's just you know the standard. Uh... <laughs> and, then, uh, and then I do like the little. That's what that is. I was wondering what that was. Wait, so what are you doing on the harmonics? And then... E string. E string. Oh. Oh. So disgusting. I was trying to figure that out for so long what the <laughs> hell you're doing there. Yeah, just those harmonics. I actually... There's a uh, Van Halen song that uses like it's I think it's pound cake and it's yeah. like That's what they do in that but like it's higher tuning so it doesn't I you know there's no copyright infringement right Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so you're doing the first one is yeah. four on the four, four str uh, fourth fret on the bottom then the fifth, fifth fret on the other two. Yeah, yeah, and then the, and then the fourth and fifth fret on the bottom string. Yeah. What are you putting on when I, you do it? Like, there's a phase pedal. So, like, I think when we recorded it, I would, like, I, there was two guitars I tracked, and uh -huh. one in the left ear would be, like, the riff would be phased, and then mm -hmm. the, the the harmonics would be unfazed, and then on the right ear guitar would be the opposite. So it sounds oh, like geez. bouncing back and forth. That's it's so weird. Sick. But, yeah, so the phaser comes into play for, yeah, yeah. for Bronco. Just trying, to, trying to stay true to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, you also need the... The when you do that, you need that bend on it. Yeah, the little. It's like a slow like, like is it gonna yeah. hit that next note or yeah. is it just gonna be halfway there? Again, like a blues, country blues kind of thing where they do like the you know the. Yeah. 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 Kind of like the. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you're like, how can I make that absolutely disgusting? Yeah. yeah. It's so disgust in there. And then what are like the, what's the chorus in that song? Because it's like also kind of like I'll just happy pop rock, but not. play the melody with it yeah too. yeah i think that's how whenever we were jamming to it i was you know it's just the two of us so i'm like trying to battle you know think of melodies while we're doing it and then i end up playing the melody and i'm like well we could make the lyrics to that, that, yeah, that yeah. that's the easy way we'll just fit that. them in oh, so yeah. that's how it works yeah usually like the we're jamming and i'm trying to like put a melody to it as well and, yeah and then so, the words come way later you know so it's like an e just like octave like, yeah yeah and then like you're Ring finger stays and it goes to that. Yeah. And it just plays that. And then.
So it's basically just like E, e C, C A. A. Yeah, yeah. Whatever the notes transpose down to, like you know, I guess that would be like C, uh, G sharp, G sharp, F. F yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, Evan plays bass and his is tuned to standard, so he knows the actual notes. Because <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> Evan's the man. I just know where they they're located on the neck. Yeah, <laughs> but like again, it's like. I don't want to say it's simple, but it's like... It is. It's, it's like very simple. beautiful simplicity to it. And that's that was the goal. Yeah. Well, you <laughs> fucking nailed it. Those are like my favorite songs on the album. I really wanted to... Cool. Get is there anything else you like? You thought like was really sick you wanted to show off? Um, before we go on to the last segment of this? <laughs> the Drop D segment of the video? No, no. Uh, yeah, check this out. Yeah, check it. I, tr I tried to learn uh, um, this song. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> wait! <laughs> it's, oh, hard. it's hard. Oh, okay. I, I can't play it. I, I, I cannot. I cannot play that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't remember. I don't. Know. Oh wait, wait. I kind of forget. I tried learning that too. I couldn't do it. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. How do you, I don't know how you can do that. That's just cool. What? <laughs> like, do that without. Oh, I've tried playing that before. Yeah. I've tried, I've tried it's to so figure hard. it out. Yeah, yeah. What, this? But, like, making it smooth. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I always liked, like, the country stuff. Like, I love doing, like. Cool. I don't know. I, I fuck with that a lot. That that's the next there you are album. I'm getting country a, album. I'm getting a Telecaster, and we're gonna see what happens. Dude, hell yeah, <laughs> dude. Oh my god. If you ever need like a, a slide guitar or something, you're in. You're probably better at slide guitar. Mm, than I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> but still, um, so this is a, the last segment of the show. Something I ask all the guests when they come on, no matter how big, how small, how Tom. Um, soup, soup. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're no soup. <laughs> you're no different than the rest. So whenever you come home from uh, from working, whatever you do, I don't really know what you do, and uh, you don't really want to write music, you don't want to practice. You know, you're not working on anything. What's something you just kind of start playing when you're just fucking around? Uh, it's, I usually play acoustic. Like, oh I, yeah. I well, so what kind of stuff do you do on it? Well, like I'll try to learn that heart song. <laughs> <laughs> what I just showed you did it not. Uh, <laughs> Obviously, I'm still working on it. Yeah, yeah. I gave up on it. I'm done. <laughs> I don't know. I like. I don't know. I usually try to like. You trying to work on like finger picking or anything? I like the finger picking stuff. I don't know. I try to like maybe learn a different song, a cover that I just want to sing mm -hmm. that for that day or something. Or I don't know. I like just. I don't know. It's weird. I, I, I have no idea what I'm going to, when I pick up the guitar, I don't even know if I'm going to play it <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> I'll just, just pick it up and I'm like, ah, I, nah. know, I, I just play whatever, uh, whatever comes to me. I don't know. What comes to you right now? Um, On the spot. I, I, no, hard. I don't know. Um, I, it's, just so, it's a hard question. It's a hard, it's a hard question? question. Okay. But I, should, I should tell people beforehand. Just like I, I just, something. you know, like I play, I play acoustic a lot and I play out like covers and stuff mm -hmm. so sometimes i'll just be like oh, oh i kind of okay. want to play learn this song or even if i'm not learning it for that i'll just be like i want to learn how to sing this song and then i'll try it and then if it's good then I'm, so I'll a lot of it singing. is devoted to like learning new songs and stuff I th yeah i guess yeah yeah or what his favorite cover is. what's your favorite cover uh, to play thank you jj that's a tough song a tough one. is it the weight we were playing the. Oh, where, where were where were we right when we now, were playing it's actually the, the night I drove old Dixie? They, they drove old Dixie. Oh, it was also a great song. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's I've been playing that for like, like at least ten times a day, dude, for the last three days. I'm some. I'm <laughs> glad someone out there respects the band. Yeah, yeah they're do. they're cool. Check out the band. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> I like the band, <laughs> but uh, um, whatever the crowd is feeling. Yeah, if, yeah. If there is a crowd, <laughs> <laughs> not many crowds anymore. But Tom. Thank you so much for coming on. Thanks for having me. Yes. <laughs> I well, I that wanted was you okay. on. I, I was like, <laughs> I was a little. I don't know. I didn't know what to expect to do. No, dude, you did great. You showed us the fucking tricks, the licks. People yeah. are gonna be very excited. Good. So, uh, thank you so much for coming. Check out El Dorado on all streaming platforms. This is what I feel like playing right now. There. <laughs> 
look, it plays out. Best ending to any song. Everywhere. For the people at home, it goes like this. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. It's been Licks and Tricks with Tom Chorba. Check out El Dorado, and there you are. Goodbye. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, uh,